Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it was nice to be in town a little bit. I've never had problems sleeping in like rest areas or anything. I didn't sleep really at all last night. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable here again. I mean, I felt okay, but it was still just too much noise and everything. So we're going to find a forest today. I, uh, I've got to upload a video real quick because yesterday for some reason it kept messing up. Um, it was supposed to be 17 minutes long, but somehow it kept going 18 and had a clip in there that shouldn't have been in there. And I kept trying to get rid of it. It kept, I don't know. So I'm just going to redo the video this morning because I have good internet here. And then uh, we're going to get on the road. So, uh, okay, I got to get to it. I don't know if how good you guys can see this smoke, but we are definitely going through another forest fire area. It was even worse a little while, a couple miles back. But yeah, forest fire season must be raging. Well, due to the fact that I got absolutely no sleep last night, uh, I found a rest stop, pulled over, climbed into bed for about three hours. I don't, I, I may have gotten a. 20 minute nap in there, but at least I, I got my eyes rested, because I was just, my, my eyes were bloodshot red, so we're going to go try to find us a forest now, and uh, see where to camp, it's alright, still a little hazy in the air, I don't know if this is smoke from a, from a fire or not, but Looks a little yellowish, but we're driving. Well, I thought we found a place to camp for a night or two. Saw a bunch of campers around a pond. But it turns out it was a fee required site. So yeah, we're not paying 15, 20 bucks a night just to park on a dirt slab on BLM land. So we'll just keep going. Hopefully we find some trees. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be sunny, but still the bean pot heats up. So we're still heading. We have made it back to a forest. Unfortunately, it's like 52 degrees uh, and sprinkling. So we're not going to sit outside and really after two nights and not sleeping, I just, I just put my bedding clothes on and I'm going to, I'm going to hop in bed and uh, hopefully fall asleep. Another issue with the bean pod, the spare tire has come loose again. Last time that happened, I had to change the uh, lift mechanism, which is not going to be able to happen this time. The mechanic who did it messed it up. So it's basically on there. The lift is on there for good. I would just have to take the tire and get rid of it. Um, I'm hoping maybe it just lost some air and I can tighten it up but that way. The, uh, the little raised lever doohickey thing is buried. Uh, I can get to it, but it'll, it'll take me a minute. Wait a minute, I may have moved it into the box. That that may be, hey, I may have done that. Because I did move the four-way from there into the box. So I may have put that in there as well. That would be nice if I did. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Hopefully it's a nicer day. Uh, I don't think it's going to be, though. I think it's going to be cruddy all week. Definitely not warm. So I am going to jump into bed, guys. Um, got a burrito. From Taco Bell. I'm going to just sit here and munch on that. I have sandwich in there. And I have a leftover Mountain House meal that I ate part of the other night. So I got food. I don't need to cook anything or make anything. But, you know, I, I saw this. The, there was a homeless guy in front of me at Taco Bell. And, you know, you could tell he hadn't showered or washed his clothes in quite a long time. He pulled out a stack of bills, man. It was like, I'm like, where in the heck is this dude getting all this money from? I don't, 
I mean, and it wasn't ones either. He had to flip way through to get to a lower bill. I was like, dang, I don't know. But okay, I'm climbing into bed. We will see you in the morning. So you guys uh, enjoy your evening and we'll talk to you. Well, hello, everybody. So I found the tool to raise and lower the tire. However, I cannot get it far enough in with the toolbox. Oops, I almost had it. Now, I don't believe I do. And I can't see in there to tell where it is. So either way, we gotta get underneath here, guys. And it's awful dusty. So I have two towels for showering. I guess we're going to use one of those. Try to climb under there. Because the tire may have just deflated a little bit. Let's see if we can get under here. I know you guys can't see me, but trust me, I'm crawling under. Yes, the tire has deflated. However, of course, oh, I may be able to get to it. It still looks like it's come down. I can the valve. I might be able to get air onto it. See what happens. Hoping it just deflated. And if I inflated enough. I'll be able to uh, tighten it back up because I'd like to go look at a van. Uh, I found one on Marketplace. It's actually not bad if it's if it's true. Uh, man, I know he's running. So get the air compressor out and see what we can do. Under there, and not a lot of I'm unplug the fridge. That gets me a little closer. Okay, I'm gonna have to go off mic because it keeps falling off of my head. So I'll try to talk loud so you guys can hear it if maybe possible. Let's see if I can get back under there. See if I can get this thing hooked up. No, no. Okay, so we're having some technical difficulties trying to get the to the power source and get it hooked up. Now let's see. I got it. I may, have, I may have got it, guys. I don't know if it's going to get any air in it, bro. I'm sure the seal is gone on it. I may have to go to a filling station and get that quick top. Yeah, it's gone up a little bit. Let's see what happens. So yeah, man, I can't get this in there, but hopefully we'll see. Well, the good news is that's what it is. Um, going to Boise, we dropped from like almost 5,000 to uh, 
like 2,000. So I don't know if that pressure difference um, allowed that tire to deflate under there. And then what happened when, because that, the cable that holds that tire up to the bottom, when that tire deflated, it lost that pressure. So it was allowing the tire to flop back and forth. So I think that's going to be okay. Going up slowly, um, at least if I can get it up to 40, and then uh, if I go look at that van I found, um, maybe I can get up under there with a uh, uh, air air nozzle from a, a shop and give it a real quick boom, and that'll help seal the tire up better. So that's one good thing. Thank gosh, got the Febreze. Might as well give it a little freshener while we're out. Every once in a while, I'll hit the carpet and the bed, and just to freshen her up a little bit, just like you do in any other in any other home. So that's going to be good news. Get that back in here. Problem is, trying to get this stuff back together again. I need to take everything out and re realign it. See what I really don't need in here anymore and get rid of some more stuff, maybe. But that's all right. We, the solar panels, thank gosh, have not uh, decided to move anymore. The front one's still at a tipped angle. I don't think, I, I can't, I, I don't really know of, of a way to get any force on it without breaking something to bend it back down and then tightening up those hangers I made. So we may have to leave it like that. The sun is uh, that way of my car. That front panel is angled this way. I was worried I wasn't going to get any solar today, but I'm getting 270 right now, 275. So that... That bend at the at today's point isn't really bothering it. And if we're going to get another van, that roof rack would be coming off anyways, and we'd probably put the panels directly onto the van. So we're not even going to worry about that right now. But, uh, yeah, we're getting up there in pressure. We're uh, up to 23 PSI. So looks like we're going to be okay. All right, so I took it up to 38 PSI. And I shut the uh, compressor off. And we're just going to let that sit there for a half hour or so and see uh, what kind of pressure we lose. This camp, this camp spot I found has a, a fire ring. And somebody left a bunch of logs that are like this big around. They're only uh, maybe a foot long, but they're, you know, they're, they're like uh, eight inches in diameter. I worked on the one for about 15 minutes with the with the hatchet it's it's just not going to split uh, if i had an axe i could get it to split but I, it would take me way too long to to worry about trying to split one of those stupid little logs and it, it's just pine it'd burn up pretty quick anyway so i'm not gonna probably not gonna mess with it but we're gonna sit here and mess with this for a little while and hopefully we don't really lose any pressure and it's been five minutes, we haven't lost anything, so that's a good sign. As you know, I was having issues with the other tires, and I had to put a little sealant in them. So I think once they, the pressure changed it up and down, up and down, that the, the rim seal broke, and then it was just uh, dusty, so it was never getting a good seal until I put a little... Um, Fix a flat in there. I just put a little bit. But with this tire being on the bottom, and it got loose right before I got to the uh, into the dusty spot. 
So it's it's probably pretty dusty under there. So we probably I I'm not expecting a real good seal. We may have um, there's no way I can get fix a flat in this one. It doesn't look like we're losing anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this box packed up. Yeah, so, well, what, the other thing I need to do is this thing isn't sealing real well. It, it locks, but it's a little bit out of adjustment. So I need to move these locking pins up and down just a hair. Okay, where is my wrench? I always keep it up here. I guess I changed it when I had to fix those solar panels. What do we got back here? Oh yeah, we got exactly what we need right here. A little smaller. I had to buy this old wrench set at Walmart because I don't have any combination wrenches. Man, you cannot get these things back in there in this little case for anything. I mean, just, just I'm not even going to try again. Oh, and of course these are the wrong, it's the wrong size. These bolts are, are metric. That's all right. We got a, a wrench right here. We're just going to move these a hair. Okay, so if it's too far up, Maybe this way just a hair. This is a really bad locking mechanism in these things. I mean, it locks fine, but it's really hard to get adjusted. And I think what happens is, as it's bouncing, it ends up readjusting itself a hair. end up stripping that probably all right let's see what happens always something that looks like I went the wrong way oh well go the other way Problem is, I'm going to strip this. I hope I don't. Oh, the fun of working on the car, huh? It's like day at home. Got to do housework. thing is it's got to be far enough into the slot to get that mechanism to go all the way down and I'm not I'm getting it locks in like four spots I'm not getting it quite deep enough to go all the way down I don't know why they have that, that it locks in four spots. Still, it's better, but same issue. Well, we haven't dropped any PSI. I keep hoping. Let me move this one down too, see what happens.
you know, like I said, I really don't like this locking mechanism on there. I've already put in extra gasket material around the outside, trying to keep the uh, sand and dust out. But it just, just won't give a good enough seal. I mean, this... Won't go far enough in. It locks in all four positions. Just won't get far enough down there. I think we have to, this this one. I, I I think we're gonna have to wait to finish this. I'm gonna have to get a little set of the uh, cheap met uh, metric wrenches. Because I don't want to strip these nuts on this side. Well, that picking it got the right side down tight. There's something in the way, the left side. I don't see anything. Unless I put, unless there's too much gasket material, that could be, but. Let's go one, one more turn on this one. Yeah, so Boise was the city. The city around right there in town, there was nowhere to park. Um, nothing. I mean, I went all over as you saw in the, the last. Oh, it's just the side's not going all the way in there. I don't know why. I went the wrong way on that one. Um, yeah, and then, uh, like I said, at the rest stops, trying to get out of town. Now, the one on the on the west east side of Boise. Wow, I mean that was that was bad. There was eight or ten homeless folk living there. Broken out windows in their cars. Uh, like I said, the one couple was through two guys and a girl. And four big dogs. I mean, like huskies. In a suburban. I don't know how that was working out. But they were blowing up an air mattress to put in there. In the back that was taking up the whole room. So I guess all three of them and the dogs just piled in there. I mean, that's the only thing I can guess. Can't get that to go to the next locking spot. And the one, the one car, I it looked like it was leaking gasoline. I mean, I know some people put pee funnels in their vans, but if you were going to do that, you wouldn't. It, you would have put it. I would. I would put it like near the wheel well or something not like it was now it, i don't know where the gas tank on that van is i didn't pay attention to what it is but it was like leaking off the like the gas there was a gas tank right there it was leaking across several different spots making a nice stream i don't really know how to explain it real well uh to y'all it clicks every time any one of these, if I could get it adjusted right, would 
hold it down. For some reason, I just can't get it adjusted right. It locks. It's not a pro problem with the locking mechanism. I wish I knew where it was when it was all the way in there. That would help me out. I don't know what to do here. Oh, now I see the problem. Now I see the problem. This is not attached to the lid very well. Okay, that's what's going on here. This side is much better. So what I need to do is get some, uh, some nuts and bolts, go through here and tighten these two pieces together. That's what's going on here. There's nothing holding it together. That's why it's got the gap. Well, that makes sense. That's going to be a problem for another day because I don't think I have. I have some self-tappers. That I could go through it with. But I don't have any nuts for the back of the for back of bolts. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to the hardware store. That's what's going on. No wonder I couldn't get that tight. That's the whole problem. I don't know where that's supposed to I don't see where it would have ever held in the first place. I don't see spot welds or Holes for nuts or any bolts. Huh. Yep, that's the problem. So it, it'll lock and it won't come open, but it's got just that little bit of play in there. Okay. So that's done for right now. See what our pressure is. Okay, yep, we have not lost a bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and climb back under there and get that uh, compressor de deconnected, disconnected, sorry. Get that towel brushed out a little bit. And then uh, maybe we'll get on the internet and see if I can uh, send those folk a message. See what if they want to come, have me come see them tomorrow. Too late today, I'm not going out there today. I mean, it's already 4.30. Going on five o'clock. I think it's about an hour away. That's five, six, seven, eight o'clock. Uh, by the time I could get back here. And then uh, if I don't find a spot, I'm SOL. So, okay, guys. Uh, we'll see what they say. Okay, so I messaged the gentleman after looking at his profile. Profile seems kind of wishy-washy. I mean, there's nothing about him. There's no posts. No, no nothing. Um, the name sounds kind of odd. It's been listed for 10 days. And they only want 5500 bucks for it. Most of the 350s, people want 10 plus. Uh, well, 169,000. There's one uh, I saw about a month or so back. They wanted 18,000 for it. It was a dealership. It was in really nice shape, but still, I know. I think actually that one had made had 180,000, but still, they wanted 18,000 for it. It's been listed 10 days, and that makes me worried. Uh, the guy's profile makes me worried. So I messaged him, is the title in your name? Do you have a bill of sale from the DMV? And does it really only have 169,000 miles on it? And it's been an hour. He hasn't gotten back to me. I know it's the work day. 
But uh, most people anymore on Facebook, you message them. They're getting back to you real quick. So, guys, I'm going to end this video today. We will find out tomorrow if he messages us, and we're going to go look at it. Maybe we'll work on the box more tomorrow. But I'm going to sit down and relax. It's windy. Uh, it's 53 degrees out. It wouldn't be bad if it wasn't blowing 15 to 20. But I'm going to sit here and relax for a little while. <clears throat> well, it's still got a little bit of sun because the clouds are rolling in. And then we're going to probably just make a mountain house deal or some meal or something like that. Maybe do some chicken on the skillet tonight. I don't know. But hey, thanks for watching, commenting, sharing, liking, all those good things. I appreciate it. And you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time on Jelly Bean Outdoors.